Did they really think we'd just forget about these? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows that totally abandoned past storylines. I mean, if anything happened and we couldn't be friends the way we are now, that would really be bad. Devastating. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at storylines, characters, and plot arcs that seemed like they were going somewhere interesting, but then the shows shifted focus or ended up ignoring these elements. We are, however, excluding retcons that actively erased events from a show's canon. You know, like how Will & Grace's original last season is no longer part of the show's continuity in the reboot series. Anyway, we will be talking about major plot points, so expect some spoilers. But since we're spoiling unresolved plots, does it even matter? Just trying to get a slightly higher power conversion level. But that would not affect the engines in any way. I know that, Data. It's not the point. Number 10. Lister's Pregnancy, Red Dwarf. <laughs> what is women who get pregnant? This sci-fi comedy featured a plot where Dave Lister meets his alternate reality female self, Deb, who came from a world where men became pregnant. After a night of a few drinks with his alternate self, Dave ends up pregnant. <laughs> it's impossible, I haven't got the, the equipment, have I? However, this storyline was quickly swept under the rug, with Dave no longer pregnant in the next episode, and the plotline's resolution hidden in a blink-and-you'll-miss-it Star Wars-esque opening crawl. Originally meant to be resolved in the course of the episode rather than opening text, the writers nixed the plot after realizing it was fairly sexist and not incredibly funny. Oh, good news! Excellent news, Listy! Oh, thank God. I'm going to be an uncle. <laughs> Number 9. Jess reunites with his father, Gilmore Girls. Jess is gone. What? And I don't think he's coming back. In season 3's Here Comes the Sun, Jess, Rory's boyfriend and Luke's nephew, abandons both of them and sets off to find his estranged father Jimmy in California. Instead of centering on Rory or Lorelai, the episode broke from convention and focused almost entirely on Jess and his new home while introducing new characters like Jimmy's girlfriend and her daughter. After establishing these new characters, they are never seen or mentioned again, and Jess has moved to Philadelphia. This random and abandoned arc was actually meant to be a backdoor pilot for a Jess-centered spin-off that was never made, leaving this storyline behind as a weird relic. You can't take care of yourself, how are you gonna take care of someone else? That's not what I- I can't take you in, I can't raise you. Raise me, I'm 18, I'm raised, I can vote, I can be drafted. It's a little late to throw me a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle birthday party. I thought you didn't come in to bust my balls. <sighs> Number eight, Caitlin left in the future, Heroes. I didn't do anything. Make up a story. Sticking with Milo Ventimiglia for a moment, his character in Heroes, Peter Petrelli, and girlfriend, Caitlin, travel to the post-apocalyptic future, ravaged by a terrible disease. Separated from Caitlin, Peter is forced to go back to the present and prevent the horrific alternate future. Of course, this left Caitlin trapped in a future that never happened. You need to remember who you are. I need to find Caitlin. You need to focus. What did that mean for her exactly? Who knows? The second season of Heroes was cut in half by the 2008 writer's strike, and Caitlyn's fate was never revealed as a result. When Heroes returned, the show had moved on to new plots, and Caitlyn was never mentioned again. Ouch. Peter, just because you don't remember your past, it doesn't mean you don't have one. Number 7. Limits on Warp Speed – Star Trek The Next Generation With these parameters, we should be able to maintain warp speed for 2 minutes 8 seconds. I don't think we can get any more than that. Warp speeds have always been somewhat inconsistent in Star Trek, and nowhere is that more evident than the episode Force of Nature. The metaphor compared warp drive to fossil fuels, with the Enterprise's crew discovering that surpassing speeds of warp 5 degraded space-time, a proxy for the ozone layer. And effective immediately, all Federation vessels will be limited to a speed of warp 5. Ultimately, the Federation placed a galactic speed limit that should have fundamentally changed the nature of space travel. Putting limits on warp speed is only going to prevent other rifts from forming. And yet, the speed limit seemingly plays no role, with the exception of two brief mentions that same season, after which it was never mentioned in any other Star Trek series or film set afterward, forcing Star Trek historians and fans to develop off-screen explanations. You're authorized to exceed warp speed limitations for the duration of this assignment. We'll be able to give you warp aid if we need it. Number 6. Several characters disappear, The West Wing. 
I like it. It'll look staged. Not if he does it at the right moment. Characters had such a tendency to disappear in this beloved series that fans even coined the term sent to Mandyville, referring to Mandy Hampton. Formerly a main character, Mandy disappeared without explanation, never to be mentioned again. And others who shared the same fate included Ainsley Hayes, Joe Quincy, Elsie Snuffin, and most notably, Sam Seaborn. In the fourth season, a subplot focused on Sam's congressional campaign in California, which was not going particularly well. President Bartlett, who was to spend the weekend in Southern California campaigning for Democratic congressional candidate Sam Seaborn. Whether he managed to pull off an upset or was defeated is anybody's guess, since it was never spoken of again, and Sam himself didn't reappear until the show's last episode. There's no chance of a miracle. Number 5. The GS Ball – Pokémon Wow, sure is different. Who created this mysterious GS Ball and what was inside? If you wanted answers to any of these questions, prepare to be disappointed. After discovering the ball in the Orange Islands, Professor Ivy was unable to use any conventional means to open it. She then gave it to Ash Ketchum, who carried this MacGuffin around for roughly 60 episodes, with it changing hands a number of times, but no one came close to opening it. Finally, Ash left the GS ball with Pokeball maker Kurt, who promised to work on it, and of course, he and the ball were never seen or mentioned again. Would you children mind terribly if I kept the GS ball a little bit longer? Number 4. Jerry and Elaine getting back together. Seinfeld. So you think you can handle this? Definitely. While Jerry and Elaine had been in a romantic relationship before the events of the show, Seinfeld's focus on irreverence neglected emotional romantic arcs, something NBC's producers were not incredibly happy about. Feeling the pressure from the producers, head writer Larry David crafted a story where Jerry and Elaine become friends with benefits but by the end of the episode realized they couldn't sleep together with no emotional ties, and once again became a couple. What do you want? This, that, and the other. <laughs> this relationship seemed to last all of five minutes, since they weren't actually a couple from then, with the breakup apparently happening off-screen. The fact that Seinfeld episodes were aired out of order only exacerbated the situation. I don't know, we decided we don't really work as a couple. Number 3. Walt's Powers – Lost Am I being punished? Walt was the only child in the main cast during Lost's first season, which followed survivors of a plane crash living on a mysterious island. Walt showed a variety of psychic powers, including astral projection and knowledge of the future. However, after the first season, Malcolm David Kelly, who played Walt, had apparently aged out of the role and only had cameo-sized appearances going forward. Get me big, dude. Unlike Desmond and Miles, who had well-defined powers, a more intricate explanation of Walt's abilities was never given by the show. He was also one of the few characters not to return for season six, only receiving a resolution in the show's epilogue. You here to kidnap me again? Number two, the president disappears. Twenty-four. If I go down, you have to stay the course. Do you understand? Just as the West Wing had Mandyville, Twenty-four had being Beruzed named after the vanished Beirut Aras. Of course, when the President of the United States vanishes and never gets mentioned again, it's a pretty big deal. President Keeler was aboard Air Force One when it was brought down, an event that nearly killed everyone aboard in the process. Was Air Force One just hit? Miraculously, Keeler survived, but in seemingly critical condition. And then, well, nothing. With Keeler's fate ambiguous, his vice president assumes his duties, and then everyone just forgets that the last time we saw Keeler, he was still alive. President Keeler was alive. <laughs> Thank God. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. <gasps> it stopped raining. Yeah, sure did. Okay, tell them, Lori. I married Fez so he could stay in the country! <laughs> Number 1. The Real Seymour Skinner – The Simpsons I'm an imposter. That man is the real Seymour Skinner. Fairly or not, many fans point to the Season 9 episode, The Principal and the Popper, as the turning point when The Simpsons ceased being one of the best comedies of all time and became much more hit or miss. The episode threw out years of continuity by revealing that Principal Skinner was actually an imposter named Armin Tamzarian. My real name is Armin Tamzarian. 
<laughs> this revelation created a large number of inconsistencies within the show, and aside from one joke, no one ever mentioned that Skinner was a different person ever again. Among the storyline's detractors are Harry Shearer, the voice of Skinner, and Simpsons creator, Matt Groening. With the family in disarray, episodes increasingly resorted to gimmicky premises and nonsensical plots. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.